So the architecture of the cookbook um, is, as I mentioned, it's a software as a service. So it is this hosted environment. We support, as I said, unlimited users, um, but we also have single sign-on. So if you want to have an auto provisioning of your users and, and there's rules and permissions based on what roles that you're in and what people can, can do and act and, um, upon and see, the workflow also controls some of that. There's all sorts of APIs for, for pulling and pushing information in here. We have ODBC views of the actual content. If you want to get incredibly meta and report on the data, uh, on the metadata, you can do that. A lot of people use that for sort of activity tracking, um, import exports and CSV, uh, and um, a number of things. But we do can connect automatically in, uh, to your data systems for things like um, data system metadata consumption, discovery and consumption uh, and synchronization, reference data synchronization. So you're saying, hey, I want to keep track of all of my, um, you know, currency codes or something. Uh, you know, you can say, well, where does that live in the system and have that pull that in and, and tell you if someone added a new currency code or changed a currency code and didn't tell you. Um, and then data quality monitoring, we can do those assessments to, on, on testing your rules and pushing back if there's any issues uh, and, and if it exceeds the threshold, uh, it can start a, a workflow. So that's all done, not since it's a hosted system in the cloud, um, from a security architecture standpoint, we don't want to be making the connection directly from the cookbook into your data systems. We have this lightweight middleware, that's the, it's called the iData Hub, that, that you install somewhere within your network. It can it, it's more often than not installed in the cloud environment. Uh, it, it can be installed, you know, Windows, Linux, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's very flexible. Um, but the point is you put it behind your firewall. So it's going to talk to the cookbook and understand what the data systems are and what your quality rules and everything are. And then uh, a limited number of administrators will go in here and configure the actual uh, service account connectivity. And it uses a JDBC connection to connect your databases and pull in this, this information. So. Uh, we, we do offer an iPass version that's outside of your firewall. However, uh, literally no one takes us up on it because once you get in a security um, conversation, most people want this to happen inside your, your network. And it's a very simple install. It takes less than a day for most people to get this set up and done uh, within their environment. And from a security standpoint, it really makes a big difference to have that connection happening inside your, your network. Um, but the, the, the way that this works is that, as I mentioned, it does this JDBC connection. So we have a standard JDBC connector that then goes and pushes the information up. And that works with all sorts of data based systems. Anything that you can hook a reporting tool up to, we can, we can connect with there. Now there's a growing number of systems that don't support native JDBC, Java database connection, if you don't know what that is. Um, and that uh, that's okay. Uh, so if you've got something like a Workday or a Salesforce or something that's like API based, um, we have a partnership with this company called CData and CData provides these third party JDBC drivers to, to pull in information from things like Workday and Salesforce. Uh, so it can represent those, those things. So, so we, we can connect with um, hundreds of other, uh, you know, particular API based systems if, if the, the native database technology doesn't, uh, uh, isn't supported uh, in that environment. Uh, this is the C data is the same uh, driver partner that, that companies like Tableau use for their connections as, as well. So it's a very uh, common uh, methodology. Um, if you do have something that's like totally non-compliant and can't, can't get access to, uh, we can build a custom connector for you. Um, or if you can dump the data out, we have a standard sort of CSV import for that metadata information. So it, it hasn't been a problem where people can't really get what they what they need from a database system, particularly with the C data connector. 